I just finished up a complete exploration of Snow Hill Path and fought every single boss in it. Found the treasure hunter and completed that quest. There is another side quest that's still ongoing, that's the Fox one. I'm going to be doing that in this episode. And going back to the bosses, I fought so many of them, I can't even include them in the clips that I'm showing right now. If you want to see every single boss fight, you're more than welcome to do that by checking out the previous episode. I'm still with Wukong right now in front of Thunderclap Temple. Welcome to Click Fireball Media, home of hack slash PC and console games. I plan on doing a complete exploration of Thunderclap Temple, and I'm going to be leaving timestamps in the description of the video. It's like a two and a half hour video. You're going to want to use those at some point. And if you haven't done it, then I would appreciate that like, subscribe, and even slapping that notification bell. Let's get it going. I'm seeing my first enemy and a couple of these zombies right up front. This is going to be the last area in chapter three. After this, we're going to be moving on to chapter four. But I took care of those two ice zombies. I'm seeing the new enemy in front of me. I don't know the name of this enemy, but he's not easy. He has a couple of boomerang type of weapons. He goes into some sort of combo frenzy. He doesn't really end it neither. The window for attack is pretty small. So I'm, I'm just still learning how to fight this guy, essentially. Just backing up. Dodging more than I'm attacking, which is true for most of the game. All right, I just got tagged. Got him here. Wasn't really too strong of a charged heavy attack. Barely had a chance to heal. As you can see right now, he's just going. He's trying to kill me for real. All right, I need, I need just to back up at this point. He's going too crazy. I wasn't really trying to deal with that. Especially when I didn't really have much life on my bar in general. Still dodging. Have a full focus bar. I want to use it. I finally got it. Got a Beast Buddha Curios, 392 will, and a refined iron sand, just one piece. I'm just going to be moving on. I think I see myself a brand new enemy. I keep repeating this, but I appreciate the effort that's put in this game to create this many enemies. This guy seems to be blind, but I'm not going to be underestimating him. They put him here for a reason. All right, I just got tagged. Charging a heavy attack. He still hit me, but I did a fair amount of damage. Almost died right there. Might as well heal twice, just to be sure. Well, I brought him down. Got 392 will. Trying to see if there's anything else here. This is the last area of chapter three. So I'm not thinking it's gonna be easy. They have more enemies than ever before. As you can see, there's four warlocks here right when I exited that building. 
I need to take him out. Don't ask me why, but I just have to do it. I need the will and also if I don't get him, they're probably gonna try to attack me anyways. So I might as well just take him out right now. You see what I'm saying? I just got hit. Now I'm going in for the kill. Took him out. Charged heavy attack on this guy. Got. I don't even care. You got taken out like trash on a Friday or something. All right, hold on. I think I want to check this building out next. Obviously, it is the closest one, so I might as well just back up. There's hella enemies in here. I don't really see anything to collect, neither. So is it worth it? Maybe not now, but I think I want to take out one of them. See what happens. Instantly changed my mind. Couldn't even do it. Had to find out what was in here. Barely dodged that attack. I don't understand how he's tagging me right now when he's blind. He's mobilized since I'm pretty low on life. And I want to see what's in here. So the only way to ensure I do that would be to take that guy out. Alright, there's two enemies there. This is probably a bad idea, but I will. The other guy didn't see me yet. That's a good thing. But let me go around. Charge my heavy attack. And, oh damn. Almost got got by another one of those guys. Now I'm definitely finding two enemies at once. It doesn't really matter since I got taken out. Came back. Took out those warlocks again. Now I'm just clearing this place out one enemy at a time. Just looking around. And I'm just backing up. Charged heavy attack. Seems like they get me no matter what. I should use a different type of charged heavy attack, but that's going to come later. For now, I need to take care of this guy. That did hella damage. The stone staff has been treating me pretty well. Got a tiny piece of gold and a yogwai core from that. So it's worth taking these guys out. They're not really too tough of a fight to begin with. They stand there most of the time. Their attacks are slow if they do make a move. Got 164 will from that. Back on to this blind monk. He still got me with his attack. And he hit me there. I swear I was out of his range. His punch went the other way. I'm starting to get confused here. Alright, I'm just going to tag him. Man went to a combo. That did it. Breaking these things. I got a cold iron leaf from that. Leaf. 
Well, it says leaves, but it's just a singular leaf. Alright, took out that warlock. Here's another one here. Now, maybe I should go into that building and just clear the place out. Hold on. Who's that? Is that some sort of sub boss? I gotta check this out. Charging my heavy attack. And I'm attacking. He has fire abilities. Just knocked him to the ground. And this guy's engulfed in blue flames. Well, I'm thinking he is. Now that I look at him, maybe not. We'll see. I'm guessing we'll get a soul from this. Well, a spirit. My bad. Had to dodge out of that one. Miss with a few attacks. All right, here goes another charged heavy attack. Knocked him to the ground. We're going to be using mobilize to extend the combo. Should about do it. Hold on, he's not done yet. He wants to live, and I'm saying it's time for you to go. for him to finish his attacks. And that's it. We got a soul. Blood of the Iron Bull is ours as far as materials. And this guy would be called the Clay Vajra. I'm just gonna call him the Clay. I mean, I could say the whole entire name, but come on. Gotta shorten that thing up a little bit. Now to take care of these monks and every single enemy in here. Kinda wasted a charged heavy attack since I see another guy in there with him. I wanna lure him out first and fight him alone before I take care of these monks. All right, let's just move. That guy almost got me. Have the attention of this guy, which is what I wanted. Got hit a few times. Got to learn how to fight this guy. Oh, he's laughing. I am not happy about that. Charge heavy attack. Okay. Didn't do as much damage as I thought, but I'm still good with it. He's pretty confident in his own abilities. I mean, he shouldn't be. He's about to get taken out pretty soon. Just gonna keep dodging. He has some long combos. Really long combos. Well, I took him out. Good thing he doesn't give additional attacks or, well, he doesn't try to do additional attacks when he's going down. That's what I'm trying to say. Some of the enemies try to do that. And unfortunately, sometimes I get taken out. I don't pay attention sometimes. I just think, oh, I won. They throw those couple of extra attacks out there. I barely have any life on me. It happens. Now for this guy. He still has a little bit of life on him. And he'll make sure. Then I'm just surviving this battle. 
These guys are interesting to fight. They're blind. You would think that they're easy to take out, but that's not the case. Got a spark from that. I think there are two more of these blind monks in here. The faster I take them out, the better. Alright, moving again. I'm finding out I get a maximum of one or two hits in there before this guy just starts throwing blows. All right, well, I took him out. Got 392 will from that, so that's a pretty good payoff. Opening this box and getting a Thunderstone Curios. I need to see what that's about. Looking at what I have now, Chill Resistance. I don't think I really need that right now. I mean, here it is. Moderately increases shock resistance. I think there's a reason why it's here. So I'm just going to be using it, I think. It's equipped. Now, looking at the fine china tea bowl. Yeah, it's pretty good. We got the Beast Buddha. Critical hit damage increase. Glaze Relic. Reliquary? I don't know. I think I'll just keep it the way it is for now. Alright, moving on. See, I knew there was something in here, but I'm not leaving this place until I take care of the last blind monk in here. Just took him down. A little bit of a combo. I tried to back up, but I got hit. Happened again. Starting to get annoying. The range is pretty deceptive on this guy. You think he won't get you, but he definitely will. Alright, this should end the fight. And it's over. 401 will is mine. And I just healed a little bit. Amazingly, I still have life in my gourd. More enemies here. I think I'm just going to be taking care of this guy since he's by himself. That's it. He got got. What's over there? I gotta check that out later. Where's the warlock around here? Thought I took him out. Well, it's time to get inside. I'm not trying to get hit by lightning. That was pretty close. Now I'm facing one of these blind monks again. Not playing around. Just go attack. I really should just switch my stances before I do that, but... Alright, well, damn. I don't really have a lot of life on me right now. And the problem is... Is that... I want to survive longer than this. Gotta play a little more carefully now. Until I get somewhere at least. Just took him out. Gained 393 will from that. This staircase seems to be blocked off. Going to the other side. It's the eyes that see make your power leak. See a statue of Guan Yin here. 
Well, I'm making an assumption. Seems like Guan Yin could be wrong. Probably. Never mind. It's not Guan Yin. Keep missing this guy with a charged heavy attack. Not this time. Let's try and drop blows right now. And I'm not really trying to be a recipient of them. Knocked him to the ground. Going into a little bit of a combo, but not too long of a combo. He'll just throw a blow. Now I barely have any life on me. I really need to take him out now. Can I do that? Just did it. All right, let's go up here. What the hell was that? Before I even got to the top of the staircase, this guy just starts attacking me. I mean, was he triggered when I came up the stairs? I don't understand how he's activated. I mean, to explain that a little bit, enemies in games, they usually have some sort of area around them that if you get close enough, then that's when they get activated and they start attacking them. But if you stay outside of that, they'll just stay in place. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I'm back after getting taken out. Obviously, I wasn't going to last anyways. I barely had any life on me. Now I have to take care of this blind monk again. Tagged him with a heavy attack. And he just got me right there. It's kind of amazing how accurate these guys are for being blind. What the hell was that? He just tagged me twice now. And I uh, tried to move out the way every single time. It just didn't work out those times. Nor that time. Finally took him out, though. Have to heal. There's this guy again. Back for my revenge. Maybe he's just not done with me yet. Keeps tagging me one after another. Oh my god. He just tagged me again. Now I have to heal twice. Finally got the right charged heavy attack. It's just that was too far away. Not this time. Got him with a little bit of an attack. Now I have to back up. Like I said, their range is pretty deceptive. Just the long range they have. Like, they punch, and then there's some sort of force that just shoots out beyond that punch. And that's going to be getting you. My assumption is they're cheap. So I just took them down. Got 402 will from that. There's nothing else here to collect. Used up all my life in the gourd. I want to take these guys out. They're probably the ones that were attacking me when I was trying to get in here. There goes one of them. The other one's still alive. Not anymore. Took him out too. Got 131, Will. Don't see anything here to pick up. But I do see a little bridge right here. And a green wisp. Might as well absorb it. I actually have a use for it now. Most of the time, I have a full gourd and a life bar. Don't really have a use for more life at that point. Okay, I don't see anything around here. 
see a bunch of these zombies everywhere. So I'm just going to take out a couple of them. Why not? It's free will. And they're an easy kill. It's not like they fight back too much. Well, those ones. The other zombies, well, it's different. Some of them, when they get activated, they just start swinging. These ones just sit there. Don't even twitch. Which also makes me feel bad about things. But I found myself another one of these blind monks. In front of a green wisp. Do need some more life. That sucks. I mean, I want that green wisp to give me more life, but now it's more like replenishing the life I'm losing right now. I got hit again. Okay, well, now it's a total loss. I'm losing way more life than I initially planned to lose. Collecting what's here. It's not really going to give me much. Yeah, barely anything. Somehow these guys got activated. Doesn't matter to me. Got myself more will. And I need as much will as possible if I'm going to be surviving in this game. All right, don't see nothing here. Going to be backtracking a little bit. There's a long staircase here leading up to another building. So I'm just going to be heading up after I take that guy out, which I just did. And we have more warlocks up here. I need to learn the name of these guys, but I never do until I find the true, what, true form of them? Or would that be the true version? I don't know. True form of those enemies. That's what I'll just go with. Got 67 will. And there is one of these blind monks on the side. He hasn't seen me just yet, so I'm charging a heavy attack. It's not like he's going to see me anyways. He's blind. Just knocked him on the ground. Doing a little bit of combo. Need to move before he throws his punch. That was pretty quick. Wukong's jump kick is actually pretty useful. Doesn't do a lot of damage. But it does something. And also, you fly back after you do it, which is kind of safe. Got mine core and 393 will from it. Took out another one of these zombies. And breaking that. Let's head inside. Before I do that, hold on. I'm trying to check every single nook and cranny in this level. Well, I see a monk in here. In front of giant golden Buddha. I think this is part of the fox quest. I need to figure out how I'm going to be changing into a fox again, so I'm looking at my spirits, looking everywhere, relics, and I couldn't find it at that point, so that left me kind of confused. I started running off and going all over the place trying to find out 
how to turn back into a fox and what I need. So I'm not going to be showing you that. I just explore a whole lot of areas and go back to the shrine multiple times just to come back here. I still can't change into a fox, by the way. The eyes are lured by sight, ears by sound, nose by odor, and tongue by taste. Every sense is ensnared by contact, yet the mind, based on the perception of all, differs from all. All six of them, tied to its kind amidst the mortal world, are unswayed by each other. That's pretty profound. Ears by sound, is he repeating himself? Odor and tongue by taste. Every sense is ensnared by contact, yet the mind, based on the perception of all, differs from all. Yeah, all he's repeating himself at this point. Tied to its kind amidst the mortal world, are unswayed by each other. The eyes are lured by sight, ears okay. by sound. He's not saying anything different anymore. He's just repeating himself constantly. I'm just going to be leaving this place. And I still have to find a way to change into a fox. But as of now... I'm just going to be looking around. I found a blind monk. Gotta attack him. Take him out. I know I don't have much life on me at the same time. Why not get more will? Just caught him with a full combo. Charge heavy attack. He's under 50% life. Trying to finish him off, but I have to be careful here. So he just tagged me. That's it. We got 403 will. I already been down there. Maybe I should just take care of that zombie. Well, there's two of them. Should I? You know what? Never mind. Going over here now. I already checked that spot. Running down the stairs. I'm seeing something on this side. So I'm checking it out. I mean, should we even be here now? Well, there's this warlock that spotted us. I'm trying to get him right now. But, okay. Well, damn. His lightning powers seem to get me no matter what. So I had to keep moving. I was under a structure and I was still trying to get me. Well, I took it out. Got 66 will. And I'm gathering this, which is one gentian. I want to hold off on this area. But at the same time... I think I see a boss down there. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna hold off on that for now. Just run back down here. Backtrack a little bit. Hold on. What's here? There may be something hiding. Seems like it. And there is. Let's open this box. And we got a body fleeting powder. Three of them. Let's see what it does. Is this a formula? 
Is it in my inventory? Here it is. Upon use, all actions cost no stamina for a short duration. That's pretty strong. I'm gonna have to save that. Got a little bit of will. Nothing up there. Nothing on the side. All right, I'm getting out of here. Someone is laughing. I don't know where they're at, but let's go down here. I'm not going to be fighting that blind monk. What's down there? Should I look? I think I should look. But I have to take care of a couple of enemies first. You're Starting right. with this rack wire. Okay, I got hit once. Dodged out of the way. Only to get hit. Okay. Using immobilize. Getting pretty low on life. Maybe it was a bad idea to come down here. Ah oh, well, too late now. Still attacking, rolling away. Big man is out of here. Now I'm free to check this place out. Well, there is one zombie here. That'll do it. There's nothing here. I do see something up there though. Some sort of treasure treasure chest. Alright, let's open it. And it's three tiny pieces of gold along with a refined iron sand. Not much, but it's pretty good. All right, break this. Getting a tiny bit of will from that. I'll do it. Don't think there is anything else to see there. Just had to break that. Got 13 will from it. And should I just fight these guys? I was curious about this area. Nothing else here. Well, I see Green Wisp. And this new mutant boss. Well, not even a boss. He's an enemy. Got his attention. Keeping my distance since I don't really have a lot of life. Perfect dodge down that one. Had to use a cloud step there. This gave me another opening. Now I'm using mobilize. Okay, he tagged me right there. Even though I was in mid air, you take it. And now, I got got. This is going to be my second match with this mute. This time, I'm going straight for the kill. Dodging everything. Well, I tried. That attack was pretty off. All right, no more statues in the area, which is a good thing. Increases my mobility. 
this should be about it pretty soon if I can't get close to Dang, just got me again. Let's see if we can get him here. And it's up. Just need to collect these green wisps now. Maybe I should heal again. I want to make sure there's enough room in the gourd for more life. I got 720 will from that. All right, looks like we're done here. I'm not going to be killing those enemies again. I already did it once, so I'm good. I'm just going to be going in this direction now. I think I see a giant up there. Maybe I should go this way. Before I go up there and start confronting those giants. Or maybe I should go back here. You know what? I want to finish the fox quest. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm looking at the snow fox brush right now. After a little bit of time, I figured out it was in my inventory. I had to go back to the shrine a few times. Now I'm trying to figure out a way how to use it. Apparently, I can't use it in this current state. I have to be close to the monk. I don't know how close I have to be to him. But I'm still trying. And right now, I think I'm just going to be getting out of the menu. And as of now, I'm outside the temple where you would find him. I was just here a couple of minutes ago. Just going to be heading up the stairs again. And taking out these two warlocks. Alright, I got hit once. It's not a problem. There's one. Here's the other. And the man's down. Now I'm going back into the menu. And trying to find that brush again, which would be an in inventory. And I'm just going to confirm. It transforms into a fox. And let's see what happens. Ready. For years, I prayed you'd find peace. Still, you come to take my life in penance against yours. You wouldn't understand my agony when I took your life. The Buddha sees. No such vengeance. I shall usher you to the beyond once more. This guy is still a piece of crap, even after all these years. Let's try to deal with him. He's known as the non-void. I just got hit. That took off about 40% of my life bar. Now I'm being hit by something. I don't know what it is. Ah, oh, damn. Well, there goes Wukong. And I'm back. After losing a couple more times, charging my heavy attack. And we're here to take revenge for the fox. He's mobilized. Tagged him a little bit. Knocked him on the ground. Not caring. Alright. Need back up. He almost got me there. And 
And damn. You got me with one of those attacks. I'm trying another hit. Got him. He's down to 50% on his life bar. I still have a good amount of health on me. Use Cloud Step. Got another opening. And he seems to have Cloud Step too. He's getting kind of crazy right now. Need to keep moving. And healing. Just gonna tag him here. Stun him a little bit. He's mobilized again. To extend my combo. And he's not too bad of a boss in general. I am changed into my wolf wife form, and I'm ready to end this fight. Just going to keep hitting him, moving around a little bit. I mean, I still have a fair amount of life on Wukong too, in case he survives this onslaught, but I'm doubting it. Yo, Y Chief, non void has been defeated. Not even the scriptures can save me from this thing. The nature of your cause is beyond remedy. I've brought this upon myself. He really did. If he didn't take out the fox, then things would be good right now. But we got a blood of the iron bull, as well as. A spirit. Let me absorb it. I want to see what it does. So I'm going to be going into the menu. There it is. Not void. We're in equipment. Looking at spirits. Take the form of non void, strike back and sweep and turn into a wave after a mission tangible and invincible to foes. Essentially, a second cloud step, which is interesting. That could be used to evade attacks pretty good. Running down the stairs, going to be taking out these zombies. There goes 132 will being added to my inventory. And I'm running over here because I see a tree. Want to gather from it. Got a tree pearl. See one of these guys here. Going to be taking them out. That did a fair amount of damage, like 70%. He still has some life on him, though. Not anymore. Took him out. Got 162 will from that. See a couple of these rat warriors here, as well as one of these new enemies. I don't know what to call it. Mad troll. Well, they're coming at me. Got to take care of these two rat wise, and then after that, I'll just move on to the monstrosity that's behind them. Just kick that rat why starting to incorporate aerial attacks into my combos just healed a little bit don't have much mana left so I'm gonna have to be careful about the usage of it charging another heavy attack and I got him as well as 167 will let me open this Celestial Nonary Pill, which increases maximum stamina. Always good to find one of these things. Although I wish I found more of those pills for mana. I 
forgot the name of it. But I'm going to be taking on this guy right now. And he is only a normal enemy. Tom Amazing was considered a low level enemy in this game now. Just waiting for him to finish. Perfect dodge in that attack. In that attack. This was my last hit. Had to move out of the way. Charged heavy attack, knocked him down. And this should be it. These guys aren't too bad. I mean, fighting those guys with the double boomerang is harder, in my opinion. And speaking about that guy, he's right up ahead, along with several zombies. But I'm going to be taking care of this big guy first. He's just walking around. Notice me, getting hit. That's it. Going over here now. Found myself a treasure chest. Let's open it. And I got myself another blood of the iron bull as well as two refined iron sands. I want to lure this warlock off this platform. Have no real way of getting to him otherwise. All right, he jumped back. Attacking him. And I put him out of his misery. All right, anything else here? See another rack while he's just standing up on that platform. I don't really feel like attacking him right now, but maybe I should. You know what? I'm just going to go over here and start working on these zombies. There's a lot of them. And I want that will. There goes another one. And I'm trying to see if there's some sort of chest or something they're guarding. I don't really see anything. All right, I'm going back over here and I'm taking care of more of these zombies. And here's another one. Have a full focus bar now. Now I've been noticed by every single enemy in this area. That's what I was trying to avoid. Trying to fight this guy and all those zombies at the same time, which have some sort of freezing power or freezing magic. They start doing something, all right? And then this icy haze starts appearing around you. I don't know what the move's called. That's how I'm describing it. But I'm moving away from these attacks that this guy's throwing at me. Getting hit by a couple of them there. Need a heal. Still haven't found the best way of dealing with these guys. Except for just moving around like this. Just taking my time. He's just endlessly attacking. Smacking him with a charged heavy attack. This should be it with my next attack. He's just going crazy right now. Alright, that's it. Took him out. Got 400 will. A little bit of a freezing effect going on, but I'll be fine. Got another spark from that. And that's it. 
Got a total of 261 will from destroying all those zombies. And I'm getting a chance to absorb this green whiffs too. So things are good. Clear the entire place out, except for one Rakwai, which is standing up there right now. Gotta get his attention. Once he sees me, he's gonna hop down. Alright, now that he's down here, he just hit me. Tagging him with that charged heavy attack. And that did not take him out immediately. I had to land one more hit on him. Now he's out. And I got 166 will from that. Let's run down here. Have more of these guys to deal with. And they're a problem. Somehow he ended up there. I'm not caring. I'm just going to be charging a heavy attack. And just getting them. These guys are surprisingly durable. I mean, that almost got me. Now I'm forced to heal twice. And I'm going back on the attack. Trying to fight two of these guys now. Guessing the other one got bored. Somehow he got involved into this fight. I don't know how it happened. I'm not really caring. Just hit him with one attack. Now he's out. The other guy surprisingly went back and just started standing there. Alright, let's charge another heavy attack. I think I could get him here. Not sure though. Let's try. Well, I got hit. Not him. Alright, going down here now. I'm still surprised how much of a problem these guys are. With them being blind, you would think that it would be an easy fight. For me, it's not. As you can see. Got two tiny pieces of gold and one refined iron sand from that fight along with 399 will. So it's worth it to fight him, I mean at least. Going up these stairs again and taking out this warlock. It's about time to fight the giants. I don't really have a lot of life on me. But there's two of them. And I still haven't fully investigated this area of Thunderclap Temple. So I might as well do that. I'm assuming where those two giants are is going to be the boss of this level. See a couple of green wisps right there I want to collect. Got one of the zombies. Have a rack Y here. Take my time with this guy. Not going to be rushing it. Moving around. Keeping the distance. Alright, let's get him with the charged heavy attack. Did that take him out? Yeah, they got him. Now I get to work on this last remaining eyes on. That'll be it. Now I can absorb these green wisps. Got 787 will from that. Now I'm going to be attacking this big guy. That almost took him out with one hit. I'm still happy with the outcome. Got 163 will. 
And I don't even think I need to go there. Nothing to collect. Nothing's hiding in the area. Or at least I don't think. Just picked up some aged ginseng. Two pieces. A couple more of these blind monks are guarding this place. They definitely know we're here now. Just tag me. That didn't take off a lot of life at all. Like 15%? I would think it would be more. But it's not though. Just activated the other blind monk. Trying to attack me. But they can't really get out of there. So I'm going in here to fight them. That was kind of a mistake. Got socked real quick. But I avoided that attack. Not that one. Hopefully I will die here. But I've been dying this level quite a bit already. So it's not going to be a surprise or whatever. This level's hard. There's no doubt about that one. The problem with these guys is that I haven't really found a good way to fight them. I mean, I hit them a couple of times. I try to move out of the way, but somehow they just tag me. Charging a heavy attack here to gain some life too. Well, that didn't work that time, but I took off most of his life bar. All right, there's the other guy right here. Let's try this again. All right. That was a big mistake. I should have used Rust Stance, but I didn't. Either way, I'm back here. I'm trying to take these guys out. Now I'm being a little bit more cautious with attacking and using more jump kicks now just to keep a distance. As you can see, it hits them. It puts you in a comfortable position to where you can just set up another attack. And hit here a few times. Healing again. Just charging my attack now. And I knocked both of them down. Should just continue with the combo, but I want to hit him with another charge attack. See if I can take them both out. Well, that didn't work. At least I can't take out this guy. Now I can't work on the other dude, which is standing right here. Charging another heavy attack. This guy isn't going to see it coming. Well, he was kind of close there, wasn't he? And he got me there. Well, I took him out. On to this guy. Let's work on him a little bit. He's still tagging me with these punches. I swear I was out of range, but nah. He still hit me. Dodge those two attacks at least. Well, I got hit there. Let's just finish him off. Got 403 will from that. See another one of these big guys here. Let's take him out. He's not all that bad. Not trying to use that charge attack. Had to switch stances back into the smash stance. And he's 
blowing fire. Ow, this freaking stomach. He must have some cold indigestion problems. I mean, imagine the harbor. Well, I'm getting hit by lightning all over the place. I did not see all these warlocks here. And that wasn't going to work out. Well, I'm back again. Charged another heavy attack. And that was not a good idea. Not hit by the flames this time. Now I'm getting tagged by all sorts of things. I'm on fire. Lightning keeps coming down. There's only one answer to this. And that would be to take out the freaking warlocks. They're up here somewhere. Had the perfect dodge out of all that stuff. Got hit by a fireball still. I'm not caring. I need to take care of these warlocks before anything else happens. And that's number one priority at this point. These guys suck. They get on my nerves and they should just go. I'm not going to be satisfied until I take them out. There goes one. Need to move around a little bit. This guy's still standing here. And that's it. Now I can't take care of Big Man, which isn't hard by himself. Just cracked him with a charged heavy attack. He's on the ground going into a combo, using a mobilize because I don't want to waste any more time than I have to find this guy, so I'm just going to be doing that. That'll be it. Got a Vajra arm guard for for arms. I need to check out what that does. Got 393 will from that. And I'll just be running over here. See another eye zombie. Might as well take him out. Anything else over here? Let me check. Take care of big man. Now I'm getting hit by lightning. I don't like that. So I'm backing up a little bit. It's jumping. Have to avoid that attack. Now I can't finish him off. Moving on to the rack Y. There's something else here too. Some sort of box. I need to open it. I want to see what it is. Well, I got hit by his blade. He's mobilized again. And he's out of here. Gained another spark, bringing me to a total of four. Now I can't open this little turtle box. Got an ice, well, sweet ice for drinks and soaks. It's always good to have, but not here though. It's too cold. Going back to these zombies and just take them out. Got 197 will from that. Don't really see anything else around here to pick up, so I'm just gonna be leaving. I was hoping to find a pill back there, but maybe next time. All right. Where is this warlock? I have to find him. He's annoying me. Now he's hitting me with lightning. I finally see him. Running up here. Getting pretty close. And there's also a blind monk up here with him. Alright, that was quick. Now on to this guy. Let's try to finish him as quickly as possible. Okay, he even got me when I was trying to do a jump kick. He's incredibly annoying. It's 
still getting hit by this guy. He might be blind, but he has a good sense of direction somehow. That doesn't make sense. All right, well, I took him out. 395 will is mine. One more of these big guys out here. Keep calling all these guys big guys. Since I don't even know the name for this enemy. I mean, there's got to be a true form of that guy somewhere, right? Who's pelting me? Finally found it. It's an angry asparagus. Have to avoid that attack. And I got hit there. Doesn't matter since it's over. Got one piece of silk along with 65 will. Can't really go further than this, so I'll just head back the other way. I think I'll just go up the stairs right now. I mean, I already searched around. There's nothing else to find here. Might as well do that and take care of this eye zombie. Don't really have a lot of life on me. So my confidence of being able to clear this entire place of enemies is kind of low at this point. Blind monks just punching a tree. That's what they do. Knocked one of them down. And I got hit by the other monk that was clearly punching the other way. So I don't understand how their attacks work. I'm starting to see how it works though. I mean, they do emit a little bit of chi every single time they throw an attack so if you're in that range then you're getting hit even though you think they're not going to be able to hit you there goes one of them one more is standing here he's still trying to find me i reveal my location pretty soon to this guy which is now knocked him to the ground Going into another charged heavy attack. That may have been a mistake. I moved out of the way though. Let's see if I can do this. I'm using Cloud Step. Which is causing that guy to attack my clone. Alright, well, I lost there. I'm back at the shrine and now I want to go into the shrine and just change some things up. Need to upgrade. So I'm looking at my staff. I have a chew by spear. 75 attack, integrate spear techniques into light attack combos and increase damage dealt by thrust stance moves. Sounds pretty good to me. I have the materials to craft this, so why not? Going to confirm this. Now I have myself a Chubai spear. It looks pretty cool. I like it. It's probably the strongest weapon we have now, except for the golden long staff, which I'm still not able to craft yet. All right, let's go back to where we are. This might not be the best way. I remember there's another way to get to that little platform. So I'm going to be going, hold on. Having second thoughts here, but I know that's the right way. So I'm turning right back around and going in that direction. See a bunch of zombies and everything waiting for me. All I need to do is take them out. 
simple as that. And I get to test out my new spear, which is pretty fun to use. Seems to do a fair amount of damage too. Going right into a thrust stance and seeing how powerful this attack is now. And I totally missed him. That was great. I'll just attack him the regular way. Had to avoid that attack. Now I'm going to try it again. Before he jumps into the air and tries to kill me. Well, here's another big man. That was a proper test. I mean, it didn't really do that much more damage. Either way, I took him out. Got 164 will from that. I was expecting a much more powerful attack. It doesn't really happen. That's a new one. Never did that before. All right, let's jump away. And now I took him out. Got one piece of silk from that. Now I see two more of these ice zombies and one more of these big guys. Let's work on them. Starting with big man. Now moving away, attacking, and there goes two of those zombies, I guess. The big guy is a zombie too. If you look at his arm, it's just nasty. I mean, it looks like he got cut open, flesh is missing. Things happen to that man. was definitely too far away. A little bit of a combo. Light attack combos with the Chew Bind Spear is an improvement from what I can see. So I'm just going to be running in this direction right now. Want to investigate that area a little bit later on. Maybe in a different video. I don't know. I need to take care of these enemies though. That took me out the last time I was up here. Starting with Big Man. Gonna attack. Let me move out of the way. Alright, he's out of here. There goes one. Here goes another one. Not going to be staying too close to him, but let's see what I can do. Got him with one full combo. Even though I try to move, I still got hit. Got tagged again. And the third time. I'm starting to get tired of being hit by this guy. And I got a new headgear. See no evil. I might just use that too. 398 will is ours. Now I'm attacking these three blind monks that are punching this tree. I got killed by them the last time. Not this time. Hopefully. I think I was a victim of a double attack, maybe? That did a fair amount of damage from being clipped. Alright, let's move. Charging another attack. There goes one of them. 
Now I'm charging another heavy attack for this guy. I'm learning not to stay close to him when I attack. And that's exactly why. Even when you're rolling away, somehow, somehow, I'm still being hit. It just boggles my mind. Makes me angry. And I need my revenge. They're not taking me out this time. This might be corny, but I'm doing another charged heavy attack. And I'm just going to be staying away from them as much as I possibly can. Just based on what I had to deal with. Perfectly dodged that attack at least, but that one, no. Even though he was punching the total opposite direction, he still got it. This is exactly why I don't like fighting close. Not with these guys. Alright, I took him out. Finally. And I got 403 will from that entire battle. Now I'm running in this direction towards the structure. Seems to be glowing. Something popped out. We're fighting the monk from the sea. Just got hit by that. Took off hella life. I'm trying to avoid all these attacks. Didn't do a good job at all. Now I have a little bit of life on me. And I'm done. Came back after losing a couple of times. He's immobilized immediately just to cause a bit of damage. Now I'm just rolling around, avoiding attacks, keeping a pretty good distance. And I'm tagging him with a charged heavy attack. Just a couple of hits and then I'm moving, dodging all these attacks. That one got me. Didn't use the ring of fire this time, so I'm depending on mobilize, freeze effect. It's going to be a problem. So what I have to do is just keep moving at this point. It's similar to a burn effect to where if you keep moving and just rolling, eventually that effect will just disappear. The big difference with a freeze effect is that it takes much longer and sometimes it just doesn't fully disappear. I used to mobilize to extend my combo, causing some more damage. Now I'm moving away. And dodging that rock, but it still hit me. It's not really a rock, it's just a giant ice ball. Okay. Now I'm trying to find an opening. Got one here. Was only able to land a couple of hits before he just backed up. Dodging another rock, successfully did it this time. Freeze effect is becoming a bit too much. So I'm changing into my wolf guy. Normally he doesn't have a problem with this, but this time, well, it's affecting him. Just when I stop moving, the freeze effect is just really getting me. That didn't really do much. He basically has the same amount of life as he did before I used the wolf fight. Going back into mobilize, spells are going to be wins me this fight. Did it right there. Gained another soul. 
Well, I think it's a soul. I'm picking it up anyways. What did we get this time? Horfrost for spells. Idling on in light of day. By night, remorse comes out to play. Transforms into monk from the sea, weaving strikes with a blizzard's grace and launching attacks that inflict frostbane. Focus buildup before transformation can be converted for use afterward. Closing that out, turning around and just trying to find what's in there. There's nothing. I don't really feel like taking these guys out again. Don't think there's anything even there. So I'm running back in this direction. And I found myself another green wisp. So I'm just absorbing it. Along with 360 will. Just going to be attacking these zombies now. Took out two with one attack. There's that. Running over here. See a Rakwai. Let's just attack. Okay, well, damn. I almost got him with a charged heavy attack. He just hit me much quicker than I could pull the trigger. Just perfect dodge that attack. This should be it. It's over. Got 165 will, one tiny piece of gold, and a piece of silk. Along with one green wisp. Can we go up here? Nope. Can't climb up any further than this. So I'm just going to be running back down here and just dealing with this big man. Might as well. I mean, he's in my way. Come with a charged heavy attack and just moving. I'm liking the chew by spear. not too bad at this point all right let's just go this way and I'm not killing those guys again just running past them I mean this is optional you don't have to kill every single enemy in this level Sometimes it's better not to do that if you want to conserve life on your bar. I mean, especially for a boss fight. Alright, let's take care of this zombie now. Didn't really finish my combo. Now for this one. And I think I'm just going to take this way. Not before I take out these guys, though. There goes one. Here goes the other. Charging my heavy attack. Alright, let's move on. Blind Monk is standing there along with the zombie. It's out of there. Alright. Knock him down a little bit. Attacking him, backing up. Repeating the process. Alright, I got hit there. Not a problem. Now it's starting to become a problem. 
that actually caused me to heal again. Finally brought him down. And now I'm taking care of this zombie, which is not down yet. All right, now he's down. I got an additional spark, giving me a total of five. And this was the way I was looking at before. I just didn't really travel down this way. Good thing I didn't because that was what was here. Just an entrance or an exit, depending on how you want to look at it. Have to fight another one of these blind monks now. In their prop. So I'm just going to cheese him to death by using repeated charged attacks. This should end it. At least I got some life from that. When you consume focus during a charged heavy attack, sometimes it does give you a little bit more life. Not a lot, maybe 5% or something like that. Going in this direction now. And I'll just head up this way. Taking care of these two warlocks. Shouldn't take much. Well, I thought it didn't. Now they're just turning into specters and floating everywhere. This is a new power I did not see before. Taking care of big man. Let's move out of the way. The good thing about these sort of enemies at Thunderclap Temple is that they're all blind for some reason. Well, most of them. Half of the enemies in this level are blind. I'll just say it like that. Like, there's that blind monk. And then the big guy. Okay, maybe just two enemies. I'm going up here now. Don't really have a lot of life on me, nor mana, yet I'm still going to be taking on these two giants. I just don't care. It's going down. Avoiding that attack. The other giant is trying to throw boulders at me. Almost got stepped on. I have a full focus bar, but I'm not really using a charged heavy attack right now. Just trying to avoid these two giants whenever I can. Did some sort of sweeping attack. Missed him with a charged heavy attack. I need to change back to my smash stance. I don't think the thrust stance is going to work too well against these giants. I have to stay stationary for too long. And with these big guys, terrible idea. He was on the ground for a second. This gave me a little bit. Okay, well, it gave me a little bit of time to do combo, but I got taken out there. Well, I'm back this time with a full health bar, mana, and I'm ready to go. Just avoiding that boulder. And I'll go into my attack while moving around. Not going to be staying in one spot for too long, especially with these two big guys. Okay, well, kind of messed up there. Now that helps. When one giant is hitting the other giant, it does cause them to stagger a bit. So that's the perfect time to just go in there and start going into combos. I got hit there a little bit. 
have some sort of green fire effect going on right now. All right, I got hit again. But it did help me out at the same time. It essentially knocked down the second giant twice. His life bar is pretty low. Want to finish him off. Now, I'm seeing there's a warlock around here somewhere. I finally notice him. Now he needs to go. He causes more problems than anything if he's kept alive. So, number one priority, take him out. But now I get a heal while avoiding attacks. This giant hasn't really been worked on yet. Might as well do that now. Okay, couldn't really focus on him. This guy was trying to attack me. And his life bar is low. Charging a heavy attack. Well, damn. I totally missed with that hit. I almost got him, but the other giant knocked that guy. And he moved out of the way. This should be the end of this giant. Right here. Once I can't hit him. Alright, I got him. 3,082 will from that giant. That's incredible. Now moving on to this guy. He's still standing. Hopefully, no, he still has a full life bar. All right, well, it's cool. Let's get him. Try to get me. I'm just gonna stay close to him. That's my strategy with these giants. It's not going to change. Now, if you're far away, that's when you're giving them a chance to kill you. Well, I got stomped on a little bit. This time I roll, and I did it again. That didn't totally knock him down, but I'm working on it. Just going to keep moving. Now we're getting somewhere. Knock the giant down. Doing a bit of a combo. Knocked him down again. And used to mobilize. This should be the end of this freaking giant. Well, at least I hope. There we go. Got a mine core. Another 3,075 will. Even got to do a little bit of a pose. Let's go over here. Trying to see what I can cover in this area. Can't really go through those doors. Don't see anything up here. Let's go to the other side. I think I already searched this area the last time, but might be wrong. Yeah, I don't see anything. So we're just going to be going not to the center building, but this one over here. See a couple of zombies outside. Let's start attacking them. There's only three of them. That's one. This is the other. And for the last one, I'll just take him out too. Entire place is cleared out. Is there anything outside I can pick up or discover? Don't see nothing there. Let's just go inside. 
this might be a boss. Not here. Who are we going to be fighting next? Non clean? Well, either way. Let's get into this fight. I just avoid that attack. Get hit. This guy is probably going to take me out now. Okay. That was kind of rough. I'm back at it. And I'm ready to give this another go. This time I'm using a charge thrust stance. Well, I did good with the first hit. Then I got hit a few times. Let's try to dodge everything. Please mobilize. Did a fair amount of damage. I'm happy about it. Charge heavy attack, knock him down. Now he's below 50% on his life bar. And overall, it's not that bad. I mean, compared to other bosses, he's kind of easy. Even though I got hit by a majority of those hits, I still have a fair amount of life. Just knocked him on the ground again with another charge heavy attack. Use Cloud Step. I think it's finally time to use my Wolf Wife for him. Now it's time to end. It's not going to take too much. Generally, this is how I like finishing a boss fight anyways. Detransforming. Got a Yogwai Core. Refined Iron Sand. Blood of the Iron Bull. As well as one Spirit of Non Pure. Let's see what it does going into the menu. Looking in spirits. And chi cost is high for a non peer. Take the form of non peer, brandish a monk's spade back and forth, striking foes repeatedly to cleanse all evil. Looks like a pretty strong attack to me. So I'm equipping it. Although non able. He probably has a lot of uses too since his chi cost is low. Taking a look at headgear, here is the skull of treasure. Well, turtle treasure, actually. See no evil, which I just picked up. And I think it matches the outfit pretty well. Snout mask. This seems to be the strongest one we have. More easily triggers perfect dodge. I don't mind that at all. Ginseng cape. Chill resistance. I probably should have used that at, at Snow Hill Path. But I didn't. So I missed my opportunity to do that. I'm out of the menu now. Found myself a new place to meditate. So let's take the time to do that. Looks like we're supposed to go to the main temple. And that would be the end of our meditation session. Earn ourselves another spark. Might as well just spend them. Going into self-advance. Staff stances. And I want to work on the smash stance. Versatility. Hold on. Let's see what else we have for a pillar stance. Churn Gale. One final one would be Collapsing Gale. Now we've maxed out the pillar stance tree. I'm going to work on the smash stance. Skyfall Strike. Why not? 
Smashing Force. Even better. Just going to be maxing that out. I'm out of sparks. So I'm getting out of the menu. Can't really see anything else here. So I'm just going to be running off. And trying to find anything else that's hiding here. Looking here, there's nothing. Let's go to the other side again. You never know. Maybe I missed something. And I don't see anything like the last time. I don't even know why I came to this side to look. There's nothing there. And I think I'll just... Run over to the side again. Maybe there's something here like a chest. Could there be? I don't know. Right, I think I came here before. Alright, well, that was a wasted trip. Now let's run towards what I think is the boss fight for this level. I mean, this temple is really well decorated. I mean, look at all these statues. I mean, it has boss fight written all over it. Seeing a particle trail, which means a shrine. Let's see where we are. This would be Mahavira Hall. Let's see what I can't craft. I don't even know why I look in here. I don't really be crafting stuff most of the time. Store? I already bought it out. Alright, well. At least I checked. Don't need these green wisps. But they're there though. And I'm going over here. Just to investigate this area. There seems to be something down here. But nothing to really collect. Can I even jump down there? That'll let me confirm. You never know until you start looking. Okay, well, it's not letting me do it. Guess that area is off limits. All right, well, at least I checked. Now I'm running up here. Going towards the doors and starting this boss fight. Ages ago, Jin Janza and I were peers. Ever questing with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. 
Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra when one oneself can be a Buddha? So this guy's yellow brown. This entire time I was wondering what his true form was. <laughs> now we have to fight. Just got hit. Got <laughs> hit again. That did quite a bit of damage. Forced to heal. <laughs> Alright, this is my first time fighting him, so I'm not really familiar with his moves. I'm just reacting and dodging what I can. Got him with a charged heavy attack. Let's move again. Dodge. This attack. And I got hit there. This is gonna hurt. Okay, well, damn. That almost killed me. I need to heal twice. The front gate is sealed. Why not yield and join my disciples? <laughs> At least I have half a cord left. And I avoided most of those attacks. And join my disciples. <laughs> Heading over here. Starting another combo used to mobilize. Let's extend my combo as usual. Now he's stunned. This is perfect. Gonna keep attacking. And avoiding that one. Which was pretty close to hit. Got him with another charged heavy attack. Now he seems to be disappearing. Using some sort of lightning attack. I need to be careful here. Alright, let's just keep moving. Glad I got out of there. That could have done me in. And I just got hit again. Avoiding all these attacks. Every single. Well, damn. Not that one. Got hit again. I had to heal twice this time. Use to mobilize. I don't really have a lot of mana left, so I'm gonna have to be careful here. Just use my spirit for the first time. That did an okay amount of damage. Avoid that. And now I got him with another charge heavy attack. Let's dodge that. And that one too. Alright, he's trying something. A lot of particles are coming my way. I don't want to get hit by them. I suffered a little bit of damage, but not too much. Avoid that attack. Not that one, though. Getting really close. There we go. I turned into my wolf guy form. I wanted to wait until he got a little bit lower in life, but oh well, this is good news. I should be able to end him. Well, he's hit me a few times. Wolf Y form didn't really last long. I'm not here. I'm still gonna win. He's one more cloud step. This is it. Right here. Got him, right? I mean, there is no more life on this life bar. 
Okay, something's happening. All right, hold on for a second. I thought I won. What's going on here? My sack awaits misguided souls like you. Enter with it and find enlightenment. Trickster caught you too. This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellowbrow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard. Join me. Let's fight our way. So that's where Jibagon went. He just disappeared. I thought he reached the top of the mountain, but apparently he's in Yellowbrow's sack. All right, this is going to be our third time facing the top chief. I'm going to be assuming that this is going to be the hardest fight. Because he's doing a lot of things he wasn't doing before. All right, he has clones this time. Okay, I'm running into a little bit of trouble. Prime Let's just keep dodging those attacks. Ah, oh, damn. Well, that didn't happen. Now I'm back again. Ready to give this another go. Oh, I hit him a couple times. Got hit again. Just heals. And it's pretty much like the last two fights. We're going to have to worry about the same moves. Except that those moves are a lot more powerful now. And he has clones. I dodged one of those clones. Now I'm using my own clones with Pluck of Many. That's what I like doing when I have to fight a group. Just use Mobilize. Do a group combo on him. Took off a fair amount of life too. Just keep getting them. Missed him with the charge heavy attack. At least I got a chance to heal through that. Just tag him. All right, I need to heal. This can pretty sketchy. Got hit by that move too. I mean, the other two times I was facing them, it really wasn't that much of a problem. But now, with these clones and everything, and these additional moves, well, it made it slightly hard. Maybe I should just start working on the clones. He's attacking the pig. I'm not really liking that, so let's help him out. Oh, damn. 
best mistake. That clone barely has any life on him. Good get out. Now I'm working on the main guy. And I just changed into my wolf black wolf. Kind of desperate, but I want to end this. Just knock him on the ground, continue with my combo. Wolf Black didn't last. Just use mobilize. Not in the way that I normally do. I like mixing it up in combos, but sometimes I just need it. That's what I did there. Don't have enough mana on me now, so I have to depend on what I have on my life bar, which has been helped out by the pick. This should be it. We have defeated Yogwai Chief, Makak Chief. Oh, what? We get to play as the Macaw Chief? That's pretty cool. I'm up for the challenge. We get to quelch his thirst for blood right now, apparently. Who are we going to be taking out? Kind of curious about that. Got two Yogwai cores and one refined iron sand along with 1,199 will. These guys look weird. I guess we gotta take care of Yellow Brow's illusions. That's what it looks like it is. Has he though? Well, we've taken out more of those guys. Now I'm going down here. It's not really too much of a challenge yet. Now we have more of a formidable foe. Alright, that was quick. Damn. Macaw Chief is a beast. Those guys do not stand a chance. Taking everything out. Porcelain monks, I'm assuming. Something's going on here. Now we got wings. Right, this is better. Let's go over here. We caught some more hazards. Good God. Gotcha. 
Let go of the arms, they say. Why are these guys down there? I think I missed one monk back there, but I'll go back there. Alright, let's go over here. And up here. Just following this path they set up for set out for us. Don't know what happened there, but I'm just gonna continue up this way. Alright, more of these guys. Finally suffered some damage. That's it. Let's go here. Finally. Now we get to fight Yellow Brow again. Okay. That changed us back into Wukong again. Couldn't really use mobilize. Ah, oh, damn. I persist with this task. Right, let's get I barely avoided that. Well, he just disappeared. All right, there he is. Not going to be landing top. This gold form is different. I don't really know how to attack that right now. Now he's over here. I think I finally damaged him in some way. Not exactly sure how that works out right now. Well, at this time. Eventually, I did find out. Alright, something's happening. Thou shalt no fear, or thou wilt never cease here. Behold my material hall. How can Mount Linshan match its magnificence? Where the hell is Mount Linshan? How can I compare its magnificence with this place? I don't even know where it is, but he's doing something. Maybe I'll come in here for a couple of attacks. Okay, that's a bad idea. I got caught up in the blast. Took off a fair amount of life. Dodged that attack. And I did dodge that one. Did a fair amount of damage. Seems to be behind a force field now. I'm not sure how to attack him here. And he's yelling again. Man must have a bad case of indigestion, but I got hit again by one of those lightning attacks. Have to heal. That's the last of my gore. Only did about 20% damage on this guy. <laughs> All right, let's try to deal with him and avoid those lightning attacks. Well, he's here now. And he's just talking this all time. Man's a certified narcissist. Alright, I hit him again. I seem to have damaged them that time. Not sure exactly I did it. Who granted your destiny? Soon Wukong! Only I hold that arm! One charge, heavy attack should get him. Ah, oh, damn! Miss again. Now I need to back up. He's trying to do one of those attacks. I don't know how far I'm supposed to back up, but I avoided it that time. 
Alright, let's just go in. Mobilize, he got out of it. Immediately. That makes it hard. Okay, what's happening? Okay, well, damn. Now I have barely any life on me. Use the last of my mana. Alright, let's back up. Can we get far away enough? Nope. That took me out. So after losing a couple more times, I made a change. Thunderstone is going to be equipped for Kyrios. And I'm switching out my other Kyrios. Find China T-Bowl. Stamina recovery weight. Which is nice, but Bronze Buddha Pendant slightly increases four Bane resistance. And what's the other one? Gold Spike Plate considerably increases defense, deals damage to surrounding enemies upon taking hits. Which seems like it has its positives. I might just use the Buddha statue a little bit later for now. I think I'm good. Now for spirits. I want to change to a different one this time. Gore Eyed Taoist is one I haven't used yet. Let's see what it does. Raging Blood, take the form of a Gore Eyed Taoist who wields a staff topped with a toad whose eyes emit a crimson glow. Stay within the glow and your attack will be enhanced. The staff vanishes, vanishes on its own after a while. I just equipped it. That's what I'm using. The destiny of the so this is after a couple hours of blasts. Just started with a quick combo. Charge heavy attack. I learned that if I attack him constantly in gold state, well, in his gold form, then eventually, that's going to knock him out of it. Like that. Now he's done. Going into a little bit of a combo. And just continuing this until he does something different. Which is here. Avoid that attack. And continuing my combo. Got hit there once, but it's fine. Got a charge heavy attack. Knocked him back a little bit. That's his only real defense. Is to turn into its gold form. Other than that, it's not that bad. Oh, thou wilt never cease here. Behold my material form. How can Malkinson match its magnificence? All right, this move always takes off a little bit of life, but now we're in the second stage of the fight. All right, he's trying to trap me right here. Let's jump over that ring and avoid all these projectiles. Then we have to move on the way. Okay, that one got me still. I thought I was out of range. Attacking again and using a mobilize, which he quickly dispelled with his gold form. I'm not here. I hit him with a charged heavy attack, dodging this attack and this attack. Just constantly attacking him while dodging. Now I knocked him out of the gold form again, just constantly pressuring him. Not letting him breathe. Being ultra aggressive. That's my strategy with this guy. Well, I got hit there. That's fine. Except now. Perfect dodge out of that one. Got a chance to heal. Now he's at about 50% life. Let's keep attacking. I'm with a charged heavy attack, but not until I suffered some damage. 
obviously attacking him with gold for. There we go. Back to another opening. Every single time you knock him out gold for, he just gets stunned for a while. It's like the best time to just take off a large chunk of his life. This will be the third stage of the fight. And he's going to be taking off a little bit of life with this move. Alright, here we are. Have to heal a little bit. Now, I'm moving back here, which is definitely out of his range. Using my spirit. And there's the Crimson Glow. I need to get this guy over here. So I'm going to be luring him somehow, some way, but I'm going to do it. One attack at a time. Just one hit. Now I'm backing up. Waiting for him to get closer. He's fairly close. I think he's in the range of the Crimson Glow. Alright, he's doing that move. I'm going back into the Crimson Glow, waiting for him to stop out my clone. Charging another heavy attack. Let's do this. Now that took off a fair amount of life. And I'm dodging out of that attack. I'm trying to go into my wolf guai right now. It's going to gold form. Let's be careful here. Going that. Now I'm in my wolf guai four. It's going to attack him. Even when he's gold. Like I said, eventually, it's going to have an effect. Okay, well, let's move back here. This should change him back into human form, too. Now we can't finish this fight off the proper way. It's not going to be safe from the wolf right now. We have defeated Yogwai King Yellowbrow. Fighting for others, and in time, you shall fall by their hands. Uh, I, Yellow Bro, fight solely for myself. Rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hmm. <laughs> you pot belly! I should have figured out it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. 
He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake. We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray <laughs> lend me that break of yours. <sighs> Giant goldfish? I mean, that's pretty cool and everything, but. Alright. That's the relic. That's one big relic. Carried in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? <laughs> 
Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shanzu. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends? That's true. Chapter 3, White Snow, Ice Cold has concluded. That stone monkey merely named himself a sage. Yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellowbrow? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? And that would be it. Officially. Now we got a new... Relic, which is a hubris nose. That would be the goldfish? Well, we got leveled up to level 73. Didn't get any sparks, but we did get 2,226 will. Cosmo Radiance, which is legendary, round in shape, and radiant in appearance. This is the fruit of a peculiar insight into Zen. This can be used in crafting weapons. Now we can move on to the next chapter. Chapter 4, Rosy Cheeks, Gray Hair. Step it up. You gotta catch that feast on time. Hear me out. They say that hag has a quirky ways. Each season she'd wed a mate and devour him. Once our lady brought her a wedding gift. A mirror. A past echo. Which? The past echo. The lady often speaks of it with regrets. I wonder why. Let me finish, will you? The hag got the mirror and looked into it, and for no reason at all, she threw it away. That soured our lady's mood. She stopped visiting since then. Gibbering and jabbering. Couldn't even catch a wink of sleep this whole time. What? Who's in there? How dare you spoil the gift from her you come down and join us <laughs> leaving so soon why the shyness <laughs> and we have officially started chapter four arrived in this new level and I'm assuming this would be the level where we're fighting spider women which are Pretty frequent characters in the journey of the West. They're usually enemies trying to kill the monk. But I'm trying to see what I can find here. Just going to be gathering this. Got a snakehead mushroom. There's something in here too. Just one green wisp. Don't really need that. Breaking all this. Getting 30 will from that. I want to find where a shrine is. If I don't, then it is what it is. Let's keep moving.
All right, there's nothing it's here. Like there's a dwelling ahead. Care to take a quick peek? Why not? Gotta see where this dwelling is first. I think it's over there. Got another snakehead mushroom. And also a green wisp. We're at Village of uh, Langshi. Still looks the same. The past clings here. Where is that? All right, what is this? A new enemy? All right, I think my assumptions are correct. This is our first spider enemy. And this guy looks nasty. We took him out. 266 will is ours. Just gonna collect this. Another snakehead mushroom times two this time. One step at a time, kid. Have some patience. See more enemies here. Don't see a shrine. I think I'll just head back here. And end the episode. I've been playing for a while. I'm going to be having another episode out pretty soon, so check it out when it gets here. If you haven't done it, then I would appreciate that like, subscribe, and even slapping that notification bell want to thank you and everyone that has subscribed to the channel. I do appreciate it. Until next time, hope you have a good one. Peace out.